Are you looking for a house with a media room, a loft, and enough room in the back to build a pool? If so, I've got a great model for you today. Let's check it out. Hello and welcome to another episode of Orlando Home Show where strategy matters, fashion rule and today's model has got it all. It is five bedrooms, four and a half bathroom, two story, over 4,000 square foot and enough room to build a pool. Let's go in and check this beautiful model out. Let's go. Hello, hello and welcome to another beautiful model home here in Winter Garden, guys. Now, guys, if you are looking to, to buy a home and you're out a couple of months, I would suggest that you start now because the chances are that you're going to be on a wait list. Now, I've been started to say that in my couple of videos just recently because as I'm showing properties, and by the way, thank you so much for watching our videos and connecting with us because we absolutely love it. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please go ahead and do so because I bring you two model homes every single week. So make sure you go ahead and do that. And if you have any questions, please do so. And as I was stating that right now, if you are looking, and you're a couple of months out, you may want to start the process now because the prices are going up, the rates have started to creep up. So I just want to give you that information. Now I am in Winter Garden showing you this beautiful builder model. It's actually five bedrooms, four and a half bathroom. It's a two story and it's a tandem car garage. So let's go in as I walk in, as you would see, these are actually wood looking plants. And of course, it is a builder model, so you would absolutely see all the work that they have done. Now, these things are pretty easy to do, and you probably could do that once you buy it. But as I walk in, it has a nice crown molding right there in the whole hallway. You do have a full suite over here. So let me go ahead and start over here and show you. So this is the first bedroom with its own bathroom, and this would be perfect for, you know, if you have, uh, guest visiting you this would be a perfect place for them you know they're kind of away from the rest of the family and since we are at the backyard of disney i'm sure you will have family and extended family who now wants to visit and then as i go over here is your closet which is also a good size not very big but not very small either and then right adjacent to it is is your bathroom and over here you actually have the walk-in shower combination with this nice tile and it's kind of tiled all the way up. You know, I actually did not like this kind of look, but when I saw what other builders were doing, and these are very basic tiles, it actually comes out really, really well. So that, that's really good. So all your wet areas are going to be tiled. You have a nice vanity over here. Now this is quartz over here. And then you have a big window right over there. Now, as I walk out, I'm going to show you, you actually have a separate space, which could be a flex space. It has the nice double doors right over here. And then you have this space right over for your office. Now, the definition of a bedroom is actually when you have a window and a closet. So when you don't have one or the either, it's not considered as a bedroom. Um, so this is actually a flex space but can be converted into a bedroom by adding a closet in the corner if that's what you want to do. The other thing I want to mention, since this is a two-story home, right over here, you have this little cavity right underneath your stairs, and it's actually quite deep. It goes all the way around, so that could be a good place to store things or just a doghouse for that matter when the husband doesn't listen to the wife, right? Put your comments below. Let me know what you think of that. Now, over here, is your laundry area. The thing that I want to point out is the size of the laundry and the wash station that you have. So one thing that I do want to point out is this little area. Now I am seeing this in more and more model homes. This is kind of a sign of a time where almost every second model will have some sort of a version. And it's basically quite convenient. You come in, you drop your keys, you put your things here, put your shoes down, and you have kind of a 
Um, you know, uh, you kind of come in and kind of leave all those things before you go in the house. So that is something that I've seen. The other thing is, of course, these uppers that you have, you know, which is quite convenient. Now, the 42 inch cabinet is actually standard. But of course, this is an upgrade if you want the cabinets here. So let me go ahead and show you the three car tandem garage. And what tandem actually means is that you have it looks like a two car garage from the front. And then when you go in, it's a little bit more deeper. So you have like another bay for another car. The other thing I want to point out with this builder specifically is that all their water heater are kind of elevated and they have this little pole there kind of give you a sense of direction. Now, as I go up, now this three car is actually an option. It, the, the original model actually comes with two car instead of three, but three is something that you could do because they have enough land for you to be able to do that. Now I'm gonna go ahead upstairs and I'm gonna show you the upstairs suite and wait till you watch all the stuff along with the media room. So let's go in and check it out. As I come along, the thing that I actually want to point out, if you look at these handrails, they are of course an upgrade. So that is something that you could do. Now look at the space overhead. This is your loft area and they must be a big ping pong fans. They got a big picture of the ping pong bat and ball right there but you see how they have kind of divided this area this is kind of interesting and i actually play a pretty decent ping pong and i'll be running out of uh, room over here but nevertheless just to give you an idea so they kind of split that and they have a little sitting area the other thing that i want to mention with this builder that i have not seen with others the easy access to your attic i actually did a model another model in this community i'll go ahead and put that link in the description and in the cards up there so go ahead and check that out but look at the space over here so you have a really good size media room and of course there is no windows the whole purpose of that is to have that space to yourself and just close the door and enjoy the movie you can actually have a projector coming from there and just putting it on that. So as you can see, the size of this room, it's pretty good size, the whole loft. Now this is kind of split. Upstairs, you're gonna find three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Now, one of the bedroom has its own bathroom, so it's another suite, but the other thing is all the updates. Now it is wired for the, the speakers, but look at the woodwork that they have done over here. And this is what I want you to know, because it is a builder model, you of course are going to get a lot of options in terms of upgrade, but this is something that you can do and you don't necessarily have to do it at the same time. But look at the size of this room. So this is a suite by itself. So this is, this is a bedroom with its own bathroom. So you have a nice closet right over there with a big window. So let's go in and let me show you the size of that. And it is pink today. I like the color, it looks nice along with the roses up there at the back. But if you look at the size, so you can see it's overlooking the front of your house. And also I didn't mention the elevation of this house, which is a brick elevation, which is also an upgrade. Now guys, I understand that you must be thinking, what's the base price, what do I get? I actually have a sheet from the builder that basically says, this is the base price and this is what you get. So if you are interested, make sure you comment below and I'll be more than happy to email or just send me a text message or call me because I absolutely love when you do that because I'm here to help and serve you. So this is the bathroom area. You have the transom over there with the nice crown molding, a shower tub combination with one vanity. So you can see it's not a very small bathroom. It's quite cozy, quite comfortable. So as I take you down there, I want to show you this bathroom. And one thing that I want to point out is that you have a door in between. So you have a shower tub combination and your commode area. But the other thing that I want to show is that you have the tile work done all the way from the bottom all the way up with a little niche over here. And then it is a single vanity with the downers. And this is a bathroom that you share with the two rooms that are right on my right left hand side. I'm sorry, I lost for directions a little bit here and then there's one down. So if you look at the size of this room, again, you have really nice big window. It's actually overlooking your front. It's actually on the top of your garage. So this section is actually on top of your garage. And then you also have this closet area right there with a nice small window that brings in good light. 
and then straight down you have another bedroom that I want I want to take you to but before I do that let me show you that they also have a space right over here so it's more of a storage space than it is for anything else so this house does give you a lot of storage it's about 4008 square foot so you can imagine how much space you would have and then you have another room with a nice window look at the depth of this house, of this room how deep that is and then you have a good size closet right over here let me know what you think of this now i do want to let you know about something you know i got a really nice feedback from you all and thank you for subscribing to my channel i'm actually in about a month's time or so, I'm going to be starting a new channel and it's going to be all about living in Orlando, the communities. I would have the community tours, you know, the areas that you want to look in, the average median price. So you guys can decide because I get a lot of people saying, hey, your model home shows are fantastic, but what about if I'm coming from New York, New Jersey, what is the area that I should go? My, my kids go to school, what a good school district. So don't worry, I got you covered. In about a month's time, I'm gonna have that up and running and I'm, I'm, I'm actually shooting for it and I just wanna make sure that I have enough videos to release before I post it out there. So be on the watch out and if you are interested, I'll send you a separate email with the link. So make sure you put the comment below. Let's go down and check the beautiful open kitchen and the master bedroom so let's go down and have a look so as i come downstairs what i want to show is with you is look at this kitchen area you know look at the space that you have of course this is a builder model so guess what it's going to have the gourmet kitchen option with the upgraded uh, cabinets but your your standard you actually get a 42 inch cabinets this definitely is not standard but you have an option to get this kind of cabinets and then it also has a good size closet or pantry for that matter but look at the space over here that you have and then all the space that you get underneath with the cabinets and also you have a lot of space and then you also have this big window right there with this nice dining area now this seats about eight people and it's quite comfortable and you can see how much room they have at the back so it's not kind of tucked in you can see the whole area kind of just opens up you know and and this section right there kind of gives a definition to your whole living area your dining area but you have this space over here with two nice windows and all the space you have overlooking your pool area and i'm going to go ahead and take you outside in just a moment because i do want you to have a look at the master bedroom first before i go in there but see all the space the work that they have done up here it is wired for um a surround sound so that is something that um, you get now as I go down let me also show you that over here you have the door that leads you to your pool area and you have half a bathroom right over here so let me go ahead and show you so this is very convenient in regards to for you because it has you come out the door and they can go in there and they can use that and then you can have a little shower area right outside to have a shower before they jump in the pool now look at this now i did another model that i was mentioning and that model the size of the room was pretty much similar to this the difference in that actually was that it had instead of having one big window here it had actually three smaller windows and that is something that you kind of get an idea of what you could do but look at the beautiful tray ceiling the woodwork that they have done and the amount of space that you have with this now straight down that way is going to be your master bed master bathroom and as i take you down there now in this specific model what they have done is they've kind of split the vanity and then they have the commode area right here which is kind of little deep but you it's comfortable but what they also did the other thing is look at they have this tub area right there and, and look at the addition that they did if you like to sit in the tub for hours you put your tv and just enjoy you know and then they also have this frameless shower and the other model they actually had the whole thing as one shower place so that's what that was the big difference it did not have a tub so that is something that you could also look into so you have the tile work done the thing that I want to point out is that your tile work is from all the way bottom to all the way up and then it has the crown molding and then over here is your walk-in closet 
look at the amount of space you have and it also kind of gives you an idea you know you can go to ikea or get one of those california cabinets and you can have an island right in the middle which i have done on some of my models so check those videos out and you would see that there's so much possibility for you to be able to do that so i'm going to go ahead and and take you to the pool area now the lot here is deep enough you are right by disney all your amenities like you know your grocery stores everything is very very conveniently located and one of the beauty of this neighborhood is that you can actually see the fireworks with disney almost every night either from the front or the back of your home so it's beautiful but look at this you have an extended lanai the thing that i do want to point out is that you have an option to build put more lights which i would highly recommend but you also have the water over here so if you want to build some sort of a summer kitchen then that is an option that you could do and then you have a nice size pool over here along with a little area for the sun bathing you know this is a great community it has really really low hoa it's it's about 53 dollars and no cdd you know if you are looking and you are looking to move to central florida give us a call i would love to be the agent of choice and i look forward to serve you thank you so much for watching our videos and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and keep an eye out on the brand new channel that i'll be starting in about a month's time and that would be nothing but everything about living in orlando community information school information something that will help you once you pick up the house or vice versa so until then ciao for now see you later